Uh, yeah, he's best known for playing Emmerdale's bad boy Carl King. Now Tom Lister is swapping the screen for stage, starring in the classic West End comedy Boeing Boeing. Uh, well, Tom, you join us now. We're not going to talk about marathons. Tell <laughs> us about Boeing Boeing. What, what is it? So we are in Paris. Uh, at, it's like early 60s. So my character, Bernard, he's an architect. He lives in this big, plush Paris apartment and he's balancing three fiancés who are all air hostesses and they all fly in from uh, different routes all around the world. So he's got a German air hostess, he's got an American one and he's got a Italian um, fiance and they all come in and, and he lives his life like clockwork and loves the fact that he spends two days with each of them. And, um, and obviously you can imagine that as new planes and routes change or weather gets involved then they all start arriving at the same time and it all goes to pot. So this isn't from personal experience. You're, no, I'm not drawing acting, on anything it? personal in this. It's all acting. It's absolutely show, hilarious. It? It's actually the most performed French play ever. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was originally written as a French farce and then it was um, brought to uh, England and it performed, I think, in the 80s for about seven years and then they revived it about 10 years ago, then took it on tour and, uh, and we're bringing it back now. And, and you've just started rehearsals, haven't you? Yesterday. Yeah. How was it? It's always terrifying, is day one, <laughs> as you're meeting everybody and saying, my name's Tom Lister and I'm playing Bernard. <laughs> but, uh, and, uh, but it was hilarious, even just from the first read-through. We're going to have a lot of fun. I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? Because in these, in these times uh, where we are with, with sort of the, the changing in, in approach of, of where men and women sit and the, and the power struggle, it's, it seems very pertinent because you've got Bernard who thinks he's running his world like clockwork. He's having his cake and eating it, but yeah. it all turns around. And, and ultimately, it's the women that have the power that take control. Absolutely. They're the ones who kind of trump us at the end of the day. And, and he, he thinks that he's got it all under control. And as everything starts to fall apart, I mean, we've got Emily Head, and Susie there, who, are, I mean, she plays the maid and she's absolutely hilarious. Right. But uh, the women really win the day at the end and uh, the men are left to look like fools. Pretty much like life. Yes, yeah. very much like life <laughs> in our experience. Yeah. <laughs> so, life away from Emmerdale, do you watch it? I never really watched it that much when I was on it. Probably because I had kids, yeah. so it's on about the time when I was really busy. But I um, obviously got like lifelong friends there who are still in it, and uh, we keep in touch. What a part to have as well. I mean, it's one of those things. That it, on the one hand, you think, wow, to have a, a part that was so iconic and 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 finished in such dramatic style. But equally, mm. as an actor, you can sometimes get caught in that loop where. We're still talking to you about it now, all these years <laughs> later, and it, yeah. and it sort of stays with you, doesn't it? It does. But then I left. In the first ever live episode, it was mm. the 40th anniversary, you know, and it was the most incredible experience. I couldn't have asked for a better exit. I don't think there'll be any return, as I was lying there with my brain spilled out across well, the Well, soaps have been known to bring people <laughs> back. Harold Bishop came back yeah. in Neighbours, didn't he, famously? <laughs> Dirty Den. <laughs> Unless we picked up my brains and put them back in my head, and then, you know, the, who knows? You never say never, but... Uh, I, no, it's, it was a wonderful part of my life, and I'm very fortunate of it, because I get to do things like this, really, because, you know, Pretty much two years out of drama college, I went straight into that job. So, yeah, I was, th I was thrilled. And I'm sure you're getting offered to do reality shows. You think you would do? <laughs> well, no. Have you going to do 71 Degrees North, did I read? I was. That was tough. Yeah, I was really up for that. There's not many of, the other, many of them that really appeal, uh, but that one just looked amazing. Going what about into... SAS with Ant and the boys? Are you tough enough? The celeb version. Are you tough enough? I, well, I'd love to do it, but I've got a really bad back. <laughs> oh, it's the back. And my back to the back of the <laughs> This is where we started. Yeah, you snuck yeah. out of that. I think you'd be brilliant. <laughs>